Plot Summary of At the Caddy and Ball By Kate Chopin At the Caddy and Ball follows the lives of two young men, Bobinot and Alcy, and two young women, Calixta and Clarice, in Louisiana during the late 19th century. Bobinot is an Acadian farmer who is desperately in love with an unruly but beautiful young woman in his community, Calixta. As his affections are unreciprocated, he decides to refrain from attending the upcoming ball, though he knows Calixta will be there. However, after hearing that Alcy, a handsome young Creole planter, will be attending the ball, Bobinot becomes worried that Alcy will seduce Calixta and decides to go as well. The story then shifts to Alcy, who lives on a plantation with his mother, Madame Lavalier, and her beautiful goddaughter, Clarice. Elsie confessed his love to Clarice a few days prior to the story's present in an outburst of passion, and a scandalized Clarice rejected him. Right after the rejection, a cyclone destroys the 900 acres of rice crops that Elsie planted. These two unfortunate events lead a despairing Elsie to attend the ball, in hopes of relieving his frustrations. Elsie leaves his plantation for the ball around midnight, with the help of his black manservant, Bruce. Clarice incidentally witnesses Elsie's departure and calls out to Bruce from the gallery to ask where Elsie went. After asking many times, she finally learns from a reluctant Bruce that Elsie went to the ball. Scandalized and disturbed, she returns to the house. At the ball, Elsie's presence causes quite the stir, men admire him for showing his face after losing his crops to the cyclone and women admire him for his good looks, charm and wealth. Eventually, Elsie and Calixta escape to the gallery for a rendezvous, and flirtation ensues. Bobinot tries to find Calixta but fails. Elsie witnesses this and asks Calixta if she will marry Bobinot, and she replies with a noncommittal answer. The two continue to flirt on the gallery, and Calixta continues to fall for Elsie's charms until a servant interrupts and informs Elsie of a visitor. Elsie brusquely dismisses the servant and continues to flirt with Calixta. Then, Clarice appears, startling Elsie, and asks him to come home, while refusing to tell him what is wrong. He readily complies and heads home with Clarice, forgetting Calixta and leaving her on the balcony. Bobinot finds a dejected Calixta on the gallery and offers to walk her home, a proposal she accepts with indifference. On their way home, she half-heartedly tells Bobinot that she is willing to marry him, and Bobinot is elated. The story then switches to Elsie and Clarice. Elsie has not stopped asking Clarice what is wrong. When they temporarily make a stop, she replies that she was afraid he might go to Assumption, where he would be with Calixta. After some prompting from Elsie, she finally admits that she loves him. Elsie, thrilled, forgets all about Calixta and the cyclone, and the two continue home together. In the distance, they hear shots ringing out, signaling the end of the ball.